stream. I am getting ready to do some photo sets. Um, I'm gonna do a cause test today for uh, an upcoming shoot. I'm gonna shoot some, I'm doing some promotional stuff for a clothing brand here on Instagram called um, Rose Red, which they got some interesting clothes. Hard to find goth accoutrement. Um, so I'm just doing some makeup for that. I'm doing what I call my vampire makeup. <laughs> I have this one foundation that's just like super pale. Oh uh, yeah, I might end up filming some content today. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet beyond the advertising stuff and the cause test. Um, yesterday I went to, I went to my storage unit because we just moved into this place last, last month and we were in somewhere really tiny before. Um, so I've been like slowly moving stuff out of storage. I went to my storage unit yesterday and I finally got my, the rest of my sunglasses and hats, which are like my jam, my collection of, of accessories. Like I own jewelry, but sunglasses are what I really love. Uh, look at that, so pale. It looks more pale in person than it does on camera. Well, um, yeah, so I went and got a bunch of stuff from storage, so I'll probably be unpacking some of that at some point today. And I measured how tall my table was that is in storage. <laughs> or not how tall, I knew how tall it was. It comes up to like here, it's a bar table. Um, I measured how long it was because I couldn't remember. So I'm gonna see if it'll fit in the apartment and if so, we'll probably get that next week. I would like to have a table again. Right now we've kind of just been eating at the uh, coffee table. A bit annoying. Salut. I thought that meant like good health. I don't know any other languages very well. I tried learning Japanese, so now sometimes when I watch anime, I can like read this title card, but I don't know what it says. I just know what each character sounds like. Um, so I'm like trying to sound it out. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, I need a little concealer. Sorry, I didn't prep all my makeup beforehand. <laughs> Sweet cheeks. I always thought that was a funny nickname. My friend in high school used to call me that. Sylvia. I miss my friend Sylvia. When we were freshmen, there was this one senior guy who looked like he looked like he'd stepped out of Pleasantville or something, and his name was his name was Brad. And every time we saw him, he was a very good sport about this. Every time we saw him in the hallway, we would pretend to faint and go, ah, Brad, like we were in an old timey movie. I'm sure we drove him fucking insane. Um, <laughs> that poor guy. Uh, I have a weird sense of humor. Anyway, so Sylvia and I used to annoy people. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use that. But first. I need, it's like, wow. Oh, I know where it is. Wrong palettes. Wrong palettes. I need my garbage supernatural palette from Hot Topic. Dude, it's actually, it's pretty good quality for being like a $14 palette from Hot Topic. Anyway, I'm gonna use some Jefferson Starships and Vampire. Um, and maybe Vitala and Abaddon. I don't know yet. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I feel like I give this speech every time I do a thing. I know I do not need makeup. No one needs makeup. It's an accessory. It is for fun. It is an art form. Um, however, when it comes to shooting quality content, when I'm advertising for other people or doing cosplay, then I do need makeup because it is part of what you do. It is part of the work to wear makeup. And if you don't have makeup on camera, I will tell you right now, it looks real weird because you get washed out, lights wash you out and stuff. So, hello, Steve. I'm trying to do a bit of a goth look because of the stuff I'm taking pictures of. So, see, I will 
was goth in high school, but I wasn't like a makeup goth. I was just like all black, all long sleeves, all pants all the time, even in the height of summer. And also I wrote song lyrics. No, no one needs makeup. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Women do not need makeup. No one needs makeup. If women needed makeup, then men would need it too. It's the dumbest, like, what does that mean? No one needs makeup. Makeup's for fun. Too, though I do sometimes wish they were a more interesting color. I got a little jelly when people got light eyes. It's also not fair because my younger sister has hazel eyes and they're sort of like gold and yellow and they look like honey. It's very ridiculous and I'm super jealous of her eyeballs. Sometimes I forget that that's a weird thing to compliment people on because like, unless they're wearing contacts, it's not like they have anything to do with what color their eyes are. So like saying, your eyes are so cool. People think that's weird. I complimented a lady at a barbecue one time, like a barbecue restaurant while we were waiting in line. And I was like, your eyes are so pretty. Um, exactly, men do wear makeup. Where you really strike the jackpot. Actually, I think I'm gonna use, no, I need something sparkly. Ooh, this is good. I'm gonna use this Lauren Luke palette. Silver slippers, I just got makeup on my finger. Um, where you really hit the jackpot is uh, that dude from Lost who looked like he was wearing hardcore eyeliner all the time or like Elizabeth Taylor or my fucking husband is you have a mutation where you grow two rows of eyelashes. And for most people that's a problem because they don't grow evenly and like where eyelashes grow so they stick into your eyes and stuff and it's a real pain in the butt. Um, and, but my husband and Elizabeth Taylor and that guy from Lost, I don't know his name, they all have a double layer of eyelashes that just grow perfectly so their eyelashes look huge and like they're wearing eyeliner all the time. And mascara, it's ridiculous. I'm so jealous. Jealous of everything. Or envious, I always forget. I always forget which is the right term for that sort of stuff. All right, there's that. Oh, my eyebrows look a mess. I'm gonna fix them on Wednesday myself because I don't wanna go to a salon. Do, do, do. Sorry, putting makeup away in the cupboard. Um, I lost my train of thought. Give me a second to catch back up with my own brain. Here we go, here we go. All right, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. small angle brush to <laughs> a milkshake tutorial. I have some King's Cake ice cream in the freezer from um, Bluebell that I'm kind of tempted to try and make some sort of crazy King's Cake milkshake with. Oh my god, I just got a recipe for King's Cake beignets. I know Mardi Gras was like last week, but still. Um, and I got a recipe to make King Cake beignets and I really want to try that. I like milk. I don't like milk. Um, I realize that's probably a weird statement for a child that grew up in America. Most children who are not lactose intolerant seem to enjoy milk. I am mostly lactose tolerant. It can make me nauseous if I drink a little too much. Um, but I have, I can have like ice cream and cheese easily. I just gotta not have too much of it. However, um, no one as a child forced me to eat or drink anything I did not want to have because I was my parents' third child and they were like, she'll survive. It's fine. So I just made myself whatever I felt like, which was never milk, which I hated. I eat my cereal dry. Um, I'm a monster and I pretty much just ate like toast, spaghettios, cold dry cereal and ramen and like pink lemonade and on Thanksgiving I would ha Thanksgiving and Christmas I would have like ham and rolls and stuffing. Um, I did not like any foods when I was a child. I was so picky. Like no one tried to stop me so I just fucking hate milk. Shit's gross. Smells bad, tastes bad. I do like chocolate milk, obviously. I'm not insane. Darth Scorpion, Dark Lord of the Sith. Hilarious. I 
I'm not like a Star Wars ultra fan, but it's definitely enjoyable and interesting. Quite like Rogue One. Pretty good movie. Pacing was a little off in some spots. I went to film school, so I'm annoying when I talk about movies. I didn't go to film school, but part of my part of my specialty at school was film related stuff. I'm making a mess of this towel down here. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over is the wrong brush. Where's my other one? Here it is. I'm going to use this EcoTools slanty brush to go over the cream with some powder to set it. Um, same stuff, Jeffers and Starships. Oops, I meant to draw Wayne. Hang on. Blah. Literally forgot because I was talking about movies and stuff. This is one of my favorite shirts. Um, two years ago at Christmas, I traveled to visit my in-laws and I literally forgot to pack shirts, packed everything else, underwear, bottoms, pajamas, but I did not pack any shirts, any normal shirts. Um, whoop, nope, that's not allowed. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, I did not remember to pack any normal shirts for Christmas dinner or Christmas Eve or Christmas morning or anything, um, which was not good for either of us. Forgot them for me and my husband somehow. Just didn't pack any shirts, don't know what happened in my brain. And so I went to Walmart, which was the only place that was open in the area on like Christmas Eve morning. And I was like, please have shirts, please have shirts. And they did. And this was the only shirt they had and it was an extra small. And I was like, well, I hope it fits because I have no clothes. So that's what I bought. Sorry about that. My, um, this was before my second surgery. So I could also wear clothes from the kids section, which is what I think I ended up doing from the rest of my shirts. Um, I can wear extra large children's clothing as long as it's stretchy enough. It's a good way to find weird jackets and skirts and things. They have a lot more interesting stuff in the kids section. Alright, let's fix my eyebrows and put some blush on my face. Eyebrows. Yes, do enjoy the Star Wars films. They're fine. Um, I saw them in the chronological order. I saw the prequels first. I didn't, um, my parents weren't like into it and neither were any of my friends at school. So I didn't see the original trilogy until after that, because I ended up, I quite liked the prequels. I mean, they weren't like the greatest films ever made, but they were exciting and fun. And I didn't have any notions going into them because I'd never watched Star Wars before. So I was like, this was okay. The only part that made no sense was that Natalie Portman would want to date Anakin when Ewan McGregor exists in that universe. Um, but, uh, so I watched those and then I was like, that was pretty good. Let me go watch the old ones. So I watched those and then I watched the new ones when they came out, except I missed eight. I still haven't seen it. Um, but I also saw Rogue One. I haven't watched, I haven't watched Solo yet. So I've got to catch up on some stuff there. I'm a little behind. Um, I like the Star Trek universe too. Quite a fan of that. I've seen the whole original series and a lot of like Deep Space Nine and stuff. Sorry, I forgot to watch questions for a minute. My brain was just rambling away. <coughs> oh, no one's saying anything I understand. I only speak English, sorry. Um, so if you were writing to me in other languages, I will not understand you. Unless you say like, hola. I know that one. Okay, eyebrows attached. Am I gonna contour? I am, but I don't wanna use normal contouring color. I'm gonna do what I did for Day of the Dead and like contour with like a blue or something. Maybe a purpley color? No, it's gonna be too dark. Hang on. Everything out, but no. Back. If you randomly hear me do a British accent, I'm just weird. Don't know why I do that. I've done it since I was a little kid. I am not British, and I only have one aunt who's British who married into the family. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna try doing a little bit of light contour with like these blue and purple shades. Do I speak eggplant? I'm not familiar with that language, I have to say.
just gotta be careful because it's gonna look insane if I do it wrong. <laughs> Probably gonna look slightly insane even if I do it right. I'm gonna look like a corpse, which is kind of what I'm going for. There we go. Ooh, I look like a dead person. That's my fave. I'll get a kabuki brush and blend that in in a second. Let me do the rest of it. Just gonna rub this all over my face. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, since I think I forgot to say. the second time I've tried to contour with a color that isn't contouring color. Interesting effects. I'm gonna look extra goth, like a dead person. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right. Um, I need to blend that in a little more with the kabuki. There we go. I got a little too much pink on that side. Whoops. All right, now let's do a blush. I'm going to use this one, Pacifica. I don't know if it's got a name for the color. There's only a mirror underneath, so... blush brush. Uh oh, too rude, not allowed. Goodbye. Hope you didn't finish. Okay, I'm gonna put a little blush on. I like this one, it's kind of darker than is normal for a blush for me. Look, if anyone is asking me to like get topless on Insta, I think you guys don't really understand Instagram. <laughs> They will ban me. It's not allowed. To get naked on here, you gotta be as famous as a Kardashian. And I am not. Okay. Cool beans. Let's do some highlighter. I'm gonna use my bluey purple highlighter since that goes with like the whole look. I'm gonna use an Eco Tools fan brush. I am married. I've been with my husband for 17 years. Sometimes in the middle of doing something, I forget what I'm doing because I just sit here and read the comments like an idiot. <laughs> Don't mind me. Well, hopefully I look like a stunning corpse. How old am I? I'm 33. I haven't been married 17 years. That's just how long we've been together. You're sorry to hear I've been married or that I'm 33? It's a weird thing to be sorry about. I'm gonna have to do that with my finger. All right, just a little bit of down. A little down here. I'm gonna put some under my brows. Okay, I'm gonna put some Pale powder on top. What do I got? This is nude by LA Colors. Did he cheat on me? Um, I mean, no. We're in an open relationship, so we've both been with other people. Um, but it's not cheating because we're poly and swingers and whatever. We're just not, I don't know, possessive lunatics. There we go. Do 
Benefit Roller Lash. I mean, I try to explain the makeup as I go a lot of the time, but I've done it a lot of times, so uh, sometimes I probably don't explain everything the way I should. This is mascara. It makes your eyelashes go. I might have to wear fakies with this eyeliner. No, I take my relationship very seriously. Um, I just don't think monogamy is necessary. Such a weird attitude people have about all that stuff. Like, if you want to be monogamous, I don't care. If you don't want to be monogamous, I also don't care. Just don't be a dick. That's the important part in a relationship. Communicate with your partner and don't be shitty. <laughs> Super easy peasy. Can I put the camera a little farther? No, because I'm also using it as a mirror and my eyesight is real bad. Um, I'm gonna curl my lashes. This little curler. Don't I want a family? I have a family. Children are not required. I have three dogs, one husband. Sometimes we have boyfriends or girlfriends or both or neither. We may have kids eventually, but I don't think we will because the world is a terrible place and there is no need to bring children into that. Um, I might pull dance later today for a workout. I haven't decided yet. How old am I? I'm 33. Where am I going? Uh, into the other room in my house to take photography. Shots. I'm gonna spray my face with L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. There we go. I'm gonna dry myself off it's a bit much. I spilled sparkles on myself again. No, I'm so sparkly now. <sighs> okay. Well, isn't that a handsome corpse? All right, what am I gonna do for my lips? Mm. Don't know, I'm gonna do black and red. Mega Last Matte in Eerie Onyx. I think it was a special for Halloween. Turn back. There's nothing behind me. This shirt comes up all the way. All right. Like a queen. Dude, I had a tiara a lot as a kid. It was like very cool. My middle name is after. Wild to me. So I'm gonna use this color to kind of like out line my lips but also go in a little it's not just an outline hello the bahamas i hope you guys are having beautiful weather i have to do this with a brush that's not really working one second where's my lipstick brush there's one Okay, I'm using a little hard candy brush. I don't know if it's for lipstick, but that's what I use it for normally. I wanna see my legs. There's not enough room in this bathroom for that. Sorry. Tune in later today. When I'll work out. wrong with y'all today? Jeez Louise. I do not have any new lovers currently. Too dangerous with the pandemic. Yeah, I'm in a relationship now. I've been with my husband for 17 years. Oh, you mean like another one? Uh, no. I'm not seeing anybody.
just not interested. Quarantined bananas. Other people are bananas. It's hard to find someone who is comfortable with this stuff, so. Or is not an absolute lunatic of a person. I am not going anywhere. This is for a photo shoot. My lips are just like slightly uneven, so it's such a pain to get lipstick on sometimes. <sighs> All right, got that layer done. Smoking red by who makes this? I don't even remember. Maybelline. I mean, it's just swear words. What do I care? I don't even know who that is. I swear all the time. I've said that for like 80 times in this video already. Oh, I don't know why they're swearing at me. Very baffling. Hmm, that's fun. I think I'm gonna have to use a gloss to make sure it doesn't make my lips look all tiny though. Dark lipstick kind of makes your lips look small. Look, if you don't sound like Mark Hamill's the Joker, I'm definitely not going to listen to you. It's the only one I care about. Batman animated series and Justice League were both want like stellar, stellar shows. Absolutely amazing quality. Lots. What kind of music do I like? Uh, I listen to literally everything. Everything that's not straight up screaming. Um, I have like 8,000 songs in my Spotify playlists. I like a little variety. Okay, that's fun. Let's see, I need a gloss. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. Please no. <sighs> I hate sneezing after I put on eyeliner and mascara, it always messes it up. servants do I have in a week? Um, I have no servants. I have to do all my cooking and cleaning myself. Well, my husband cooks too. Mostly he cooks. He's way better than me. He used to work in a restaurant. <laughs> uh, but I definitely clean and like do the laundry and everything. Although you've reminded me, I definitely need to sweep. We have all hardwood floors now and it's a mess if we don't sweep regularly since we have three dogs. Hmm, there we go. Shiny, beautiful lips. <sighs> I'm doing a time lapse too. That's what I was making a face at. All right. Um, that's the word. I'm going to go do my hair. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. Finally was able to shower again now that our water is back on. Stupid Texas nonsense. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. I like when my hair's a little curly. All right, that's the look. You too can look like a beautiful vampire corpse. Mm -hmm. Bye.